Okay, so here is number 70 uh, from our book, Worked Out. It seems like a really tricky problem, um, and it is tricky. It's not as tricky as it seems, though, at first. So you've got this uh, serve that's happening from 2.5 meters above the court. Uh, there's a net 15 meters away that is 0.9 meters tall, and um, you've got a the serve has got to be within seven meters. It's got to hit in that first box, which is within seven meters of the net over here. So the question is, how fast do you have to hit the serve the ball for it to just barely clear the net? My uh, parabola here is awful, so don't pay attention to that. But anyway, um, <clears throat> the ball, if you think about it, in this time, is going to fall 1.6 meters till it gets to the top of the net. Okay, so that's part of what I need. It's also going to travel sideways 15 meters in that same time. So if I think about the motion here, sideways is going to be moving at a constant speed, and vertically it's going to be speeding up, and the actual motion is going to be the combination of those two things together. Now remember we're going to be splitting this up because our kinematic equations only work for things moving in a straight line. So uh, a pr parabolic motion here is not in a straight line, so technically we can't use the equations unless we split it up into a horizontal problem and a vertical problem. So my thought here is that the time it takes for the ball to drop from there down to where it's at the top of the net is the same as the time it takes to move along this parabola until it's actually at the top of the net and not just straight down. So since the time is the same, let's just solve how long it takes for this ball to fall 1.6 meters straight down. So here's what I know. Uh, my initial velocity is zero because it's just dropping. It's not being thrown up or down. Acceleration of gravity is 10. I'm saying up is positive, so down to be negative. So the change of position is in the negative direction, 1.6 meters, and I'm trying to find the time. So when I uh, then use equation number three, tweak it to be in the y direction. So change all the x's into y's and put little subscripts in there. Plug everything in uh, that I need, basically. And I come up with 0.57 seconds after I've done the algebra. Uh, so 0.57 seconds is what you get there. So that's how long it takes for the ball to go from right here and drop straight down till it's at the same height that the top of the net is at. Point basically six seconds. So that means the ball has point six seconds to move sideways at a constant rate and cover a distance of 15 meters. So if I just take um, that 15 meters and divide it by 0.57 seconds, I get something around 26 meters a second at least is the speed I have to hit to get it over the net. So if I hit it at that minimum speed, then the question is, where will it land? Well, now if it's landing, it's actually hitting the ground. So it's falling all the way down, which means I now need to find the time it takes to go all the way to the ground, not just to the top of the net. So I set that up first, and I get that it's about 0.7 seconds when I plug in the new distance here, change of position of negative 2.5, everything else is the same as we did over here. I get 0.71 seconds, so if I multiply that by my constant sideways speed of 26.3, then it tells me that in that time, while it's moving sideways, it's going to go 18.6 meters. And since the net is only 15 meters away from the server, that means it's going to travel 3.6 meters uh, past the net or to the other side of the net. And so that's the answer for that one. And so the serve is in because it's well well within the 7 meter range I have on the other side of the net there. The book wanted you to find the distance first, I guess, and then the time. I'm not sure why they did that. You need to find the time here to find the total distance. So I solved the last question first, and then came back up to the middle one. So that's number 70. Not as hard as it first seems, but it's still kind of tricky and, and difficult.